Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Well, it's another episode of Solar Sunday. One thing my uh, grandfather taught me, he had a farm, and he said you want to uh, bale hay while the sun shines. Well, actually we were literally baling hay, but that's another matter. What it really means though is you want to get something done as fast as possible when conditions are favorable. And I think that really applies to solar. So we're going to be reviewing the XTAR SC1 Speedy Charging Battery Charger. It's two amps, inexpensive. Let's take a look at this. Here it is, as the package it comes in. It actually says um, speedy charging. I'm not sure if that's uh, something with the translation, but maybe quick charging would be a better term. Comes with a high quality, feels really good, um, charging cable. And here's the actual charger itself. You can take a look right here to compare it to um, another XTAR charger. This is a, a one amp. This is the um, Ant MC1 Plus. So you can see this is a much larger charger. Here's another thing you'll notice too. There's, all, there's a difference. Um, this has a wider range for sizes. This one has a narrower range for sizes. And the reason why this particular charger is meant to use larger size lithium ion batteries such as this protected 18650 or this um, unprotected 18650 and larger batteries. You can't use smaller batteries like this and the reason being this is a 2 amp charger. This charger can charge at a half amp or 1 amp so it's going to um, put too much energy into this battery. The purpose of this is get as much energy into this and this battery as possible as quick as it can but yet still be safe so you're limited to batteries of a larger size so keep that in mind and it will only do lithium-ion batteries very simple. In fact, this is really simple. I've been testing this out, and um, it's got. That's one of the things I really like about um, when it comes to solar charging. Simpler the better. Simpler charger is, in my experience, very often the less things tend to go wrong. Here you can see the. Um, it's showing you the proper polarity, plus minus, and this is your status bar. Very simple um, input. And that's it. There's not much to this. Let's get going on with the um, actual solar testing. So the rate of charge is, um, that's not bad. Uh, 1.4 amps it fluctuates, but um, 1.42, 1.46, 1.44, that's excellent. Here's the uh, one amp, one amp XTAR charger. And it's charging at right around one amps, which is good, but it wasn't as good as this. Now that we're in the shade, we can take a look and see how it works with the power bank. 1.2 1 uh, 1 1 1.3 amps it's just bouncing around there now we're using the one amp charger and we're getting um, 0.96 amps It's charging slowly, but still charging. No charge errors. This panel, older panel, no countermeasures against that. Cloudy skies.
that's um said about nine watts so it really comes into its own when plugged in to a good two amp power supply and an outlet. Man, oh, it's it is getting hot out here. Okay, uh, in conclusion, the SC1, it did a good job. It was indeed faster when using backpacking type solar panels than the one amp charger. Also, did not trigger any charge errors. For example, during the testing, this one defaulted to a half amp, passing clouds, things like that. This one never did that. Also, there was no, well, both these are utterly reliable in terms of they don't quit charging on you. But this one, just like this one, worked good in clouds, worked good in partial sun. It did it all, so I'm not really complaining. The only real downsides are it is slightly larger. You are limited to 18650 batteries are larger due to the high charge rate. And of course, um, one thing I noticed, in order to get the full two amp charge, you really gotta plug it into a wall outlet with a high quality um, adapter. And that would get you the full two amp charge. But hey, I got the extra speed a little bit more, which is kind of what I'm looking for, and it is reliable. Okay, if you liked what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And as always, y'all have a great day and thanks for watching.